Hello and welcome. This Minecraft tutorial is on the plugin Lava Furnace. You start off by building a 3x3 square and you fill it with obsidian. As you can see, just quickly fill it up. Then the next layer, you also put obsidian. You do the back three, the side three, and then you leave a gap for the furnace and the lava. You place a furnace at the front, then you go on to the next layer where you put stone steps all around the edges but not in front of the furnace so every other edge apart from that these block types can be configured in the config as I'll show you at the end then three obsidian at back and then three at the front as you can see then on the right hand side of the furnace you place a glass block and this acts as the door for when you put the lava in and then you can place chests at either side you do have to enable this at the config file and I'll show you this at the end and what these do is if you put items in it will put them straight into the furnace for you and then they'll come out the other side then to activate it you have to create a sign and put lava furnace one word close bracket and then done as you see the lightning hits it and now it's active so if I go to the back and place lava in there you'll see the glass block slides over as the door and then also in the config I've enabled it so it shows you the lava level so as you see it's 100% so I'll just place the chicken in and you can see it disappears from the chest and goes into the furnace so if you have a quick look you see there's two chickens cooking and when it comes out you'll see it disappear again into the opposite chest so there you go you can see it's in there and then if you just look at the lava level it's gone down to 99% where it's used some of the lava to cook things so if I just wait for the chicken there you see it's taken that and placed it in the furnace as you can see the two cooked chicken are there and if I wait a second you'll see the diamond appear so there you go as you can see it's working properly so this is the config file as you can see infinite lava if you change this to true the lava will never run out and there won't be a percentage allow production chests, these are the chests where you put the items and then it will automatically put it into the furnace and then if you look here explosion proof true so if anything explodes it won't destroy it use large chests as well and then piston protect, I've got this off so people can actually break it with pistons endermen protect, this is true so endermen can't take anything the sh sign for the fuel level this is actually off as default so make sure you change this if you want to see the fuel level I think that's quite a cool feature and I think it'd be good on online servers and then down here you can change what blocks the furnace is made out of I think this would be a really good plugin to have on online servers if this video has helped please remember to rate subscribe and comment cheers